And that's, uh, you know, you've listened to 4,000 of our broadcasts. It's a, <laughs> a level two play, and that's down the line. That's past third and down the line. This could be trouble. Viegas rounding third. He's going to be waved home by Larry Lee. He will score without a throw. And into second with a double is Casillas. And Cal Poly leads it one to nothing here in the second inning. Well, Darby was playing even with the bag at third there, Bob. And well, he had no chance he at had that. No chance right? at that. That's he just, actually, he was. Yeah, he was in a few steps. You know, thinking that there might be a bunt. And Vegas scores easily from first base. 2-2, two, two, and that's a ground ball to second. This will score the run. Oakley to first in time, and Corio with a productive at bat gets an RBI, and it's 2 to nothing Cal Poly. Yeah, I mean, when you're a coach, you talk about with running second, third, hey, give me two weak ground balls to the right side, get us a, you know, get us a couple runs, and that's exactly what the Mustangs have done, and they haven't really done that this week. Casillas at second, York at first with, two, with one out. In a 2-2 game. Here's the pitch, and that's ball four. And Corio draws a bases loaded walk to give Cal Poly the lead at four to, at uh, three to two. And that's ball four. So the Gauchos do have someone else up in the pen, and not that this situation is any better. No balls and two strikes. Here's the 0-2 to Cloyd. Swung on and pulled into left field. That's a base hit. York will score. And right behind him is Corio, but they stop Corio at third. So everybody moves up 90 feet, and it's 5-2 Cal Poly. Good piece of hitting by Evan Cloyd. Well, he got a 94-mile-an-hour pitch. Middle away and pulled it into the six hole. Gauchos in double play depth. Cal Poly has scored three runs in this fourth inning. Here's the pitch. Look, Look out. out. That'll be four runs as Whiting hits, steals. That's the second time in the game Jake's been hit, and that's an RBI, and it's now 6-2 to two Cal Poly. Well, you can close the book on. So the game is in the bullpen's hands now, and good break of ball right there which is very respectable, but pitching-wise, 5.83 ERA. And Wright strikes out Oakley on a slider. Two quick strikeouts for Jacob Wright. So that's why they end up getting the brunt of it when they have a 5.9 ERA. But that pitching is pretty good. This inning is Wright strikes out the side and, and it gives them a shutdown inning that. that they were looking for. So Jacob Wright out of the bullpen, very impressive looking as he gets Latre McCullum on that. Front door slider that time. 2-0 pitch. Hitting the left field for a base hit. And Larry's going to bring Tor Corio, and he will score. And Steeles comes up with a uh, one-out RBI single in the left field to give the Mustangs a 7-4 lead. Look so, at it again so, there, yeah. Bob. So the Mustangs answer the Gauchos' run with a run of their own. Single, he's also scored a run. Check that one for four with a single and a run scored. And the 0-1 is sliced down the right field line. This one could be trouble, and it's gone. A oh, home run wow, for Stafford. The top of the fence. You talk about a dagger right there. That is a, that was a, not a bad pitch. Stafford went down and got it up and had that little power fade on it and hit the top of the fence and got out of here. Two-run homer for Stafford, and that makes it 9-3 to three Cal Poly. Boy, that one really hurts. Off the top of the fence, as we'll see it here again. Well, the pitch is, is down and away, and he That's just a hits, a, yeah, he hits a high fly ball. It just kept going and kept going. Top of the fence and getting out of here. So 350-foot home run. Jacob Wright does not look like a pitcher with a 9.39 earned run average. I'm just being honest. Here's a line drive, base hit right field, and the Gauchos have runners at uh, first and oh third. As goodness. going to third and being thrown out by 10 feet is oh, what uh, are we John Newman there? Jr. Great throw in right field by Wyatt King. Well, that's uh, 
that's one of the things that has one of the few things that has been a bugaboo for the gauchos and that is not necessarily being a little overly aggressive and this one is chopped up the middle but the shortstop casillas is there and cal poly has defeated uc santa barbara nine to five to close out this three game series they take the uh they salvage the series finale uh, do the Mustangs and the shows suffer a, a pretty bad loss, Bob. I mean, Cal Poly is, has been a team that has struggled this season, and we wish the Mustangs the best of luck next weekend against Cal State Fullerton.